welcome, welcome. This is one of my, these are, these are my favorite segments. When we just take a piece of cloth, a yard, and just can do so much with it, I love this. So this is called the four-way wrap. A little cover-up is what it is. Um, I got it off the store. I got it from a store. And um, I just want to show you some great things to do with it. So let's start with I'm in black and she's in black simply because I think it works great with any sheer, any sheer that you have. This is silk. And so let me tell you a little bit about the greatest thing about silk and what I did is when you cut it and you cut the width you need, you're just going to tear it. And what happens when you tear it, especially if it's a beautiful silk, it just leaves this great little finish on the edge and that's exactly what you're going to do with it. I'm seeing it more and more in ready to wear where they cut and they just leave the torn edge and it's so pretty. It's just really, really pretty. If not, you can finish it how you want, but I'm going to give you the measurements of this and then show you how to wear it. And, and we have, so I did this, my mind's going a million different directions. Sorry. We, ha we did this, I did this in a sheer and then I put it on black just to show you. I think what I would do is buy the company and then make a blouse with the sheer on top. I just think that would just be beautiful. But I felt like if I showed you that, it would just get too many layers and you couldn't see this clearly. Okay, so the wrap itself is gonna measure 18 inches wide and it's a yard long. So you can take a yard of fabric, one yard, rip it and then go horizontal with it and do 18 inches. That's where you get your width from. You can also play with the numbers because, so it's 18 wide times 36 and you're gonna have two seams because you've got wide in this case. So what I did with my seams to make them pretty is I just did a French seam and then I top stitched that French seam down. So surged one edge, in case the edge, there's really not a right and wrong side to this, so it doesn't matter. So both sides of my seams really look the same and they're both really pretty. So we're gonna use these seams as kind of placement markers, if you'll say. So the first thing we're gonna do is just double it. And again, if you're shorter, you might not want it to be this long. So, you know, feel free to shorten it up. And, and if you just play with one yard of fabric, you'll be able to see, okay, I want it to be a little bit shorter or I want it to be a little bit longer because it'd be cute long too. The reason I stopped is I'm using my seams as like placement locators. So I'm first putting that seam at center back. Then I've got a seam down here and I'm just gonna twist it and fold it again. So it's just great for a little scarf, decorative, completely changes up the look of the garment. So that's the first way. All right, so then we're gonna take this off. And I decided it would be a little easier to do it on the mannequin because like you kind of need a mirror to adjust it. So I decided it would be a little easier. So in this case, then I'm gonna put the seams right at the back. And literally I just wear it over my shoulders and let that hang forward. And I'm gonna show you it on me for one reason, because what I found when I did this on myself, I just loved the look and that's when I added the necklace. I loved all the vertical lines. I just loved how it went up. And it's just really simple. Obviously, if I'm wearing it with something else, I could just fold it up and make the necklace out, or the, the scarf out of it. But as it hangs over the shoulder, you want it to be broad there in the back. And again, I placed my seams at the back and at the front. But let me show you, because I did rotate it around a little bit playing with it, and you can see that you can put both seams equal to one another because they're in the middle, and you can wear it that way, and again, with a necklace or something that just really, it's almost just like a little accent piece. Okay, then the next way, for some reason, it's, it's fun to actually wear it as opposed to put it on her, the mannequin. She doesn't, you know, she doesn't wear it as well. So this way, you're going to put almost like you're putting a jacket on without sleeves and it becomes a little shrug. Again, what I did in this case, and you could do it differently, but I put both seams here at the side so they're at the same place and then it just comes in the back. So you've got a little shrug. And then the last way, and in each of these cases, we've got pictures coming up that are showing you, um, you're going to put it on this shoulder, almost like it's a 
Miss America band. I don't know what else to think of. And then you're gonna, before you put on this shoulder, like that, that's kind of pretty, but you're gonna twist it. And so what's that, what that's going to do is give, it doesn't matter which way you twist it, I'm playing with it, but it doesn't make a difference. Whichever way you twist it, the twist is gonna be, come to the middle. Sorry, take, whoops. I should, let me put a pin up there so it doesn't fall off. If you make a, like what I have on is knit, and it has, um, it, the silk and the knit stays together really nicely. If you don't have that, you might put some kind of little, I don't know, just something on there. This is the only case when you're doing this that it has a tendency to slide off. The rest are no problem. So you've got it like this. Take this side and twist it up like that. So you've actually got a little twist in the middle. I actually found that you could take it and do it again. And you get a little double twist in the middle. Isn't that pretty? Again, it can be shorter. You can bring it up and then it'll just stick to your neckline. If you pull this down enough, it'll bring it in narrower, and I found that when I had it on and wearing it, it did not slip at all. If you're wearing something slippy underneath, it's probably going to slip, so you just need to kind of watch what are your combinations. I love that, I just think it's so pretty. Anyway, so simple to do. You have a yard of fabric sitting around and you've got somebody who did something really nice for you, you know, make them a little four-way wrap thing so that they can enjoy you know, a little kindness. Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.